Have you struggled for what seems like hours on end to implant pigment, sweating and stressing? Only to have your client return for the touch-up and there's absolutely nothing there. I've been there too and so many times I just wanted to give up. But learning to tweak just a few simple things changed everything. My clients were more comfortable, I implanted bold colour in less than half the time and my healed results were incredible. Which meant at the touch-up there was less tattooing and more tea drinking. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you five simple ways to take the struggle out of liner and start getting results so fantastic, you'll be the eyeliner queen. So why is eyeliner so much harder than the other PMU treatments? Well, imagine the eyelid is this balloon. As soon as we start implanting pigment into the skin, it starts to swell. And once the skin is stretched really tightly like this, it starts to push back and it's impossible to get the pigment in. We really are in a race against time. You have a window of about 20 minutes to get in as much color as possible before this happens. After that, you're fighting a losing eyeliner battle. So to make sure we're getting as much pigment in as quickly as possible to get the best retention, we need to start with this. We need to get bold color into the skin quickly all while navigating our way around lashes and flickering eyes and skin like this. So to do this as effectively as possible, we need to make everything really stable. If you don't get this part right, you just won't get any color properly planted into the correct layer of skin. And this may be the main reason your client's eyes are coming back with no color retention. Stretching properly is gonna stabilize the skin, expose the lash line and allow the pigment to implant in the dermal layer. Watch how I stretch the skin in three places. One, two, three. If your client is a bit watery, then have a tissue on hand to make sure your hands don't slip. To stretch the bottom lash line, stretch the top lid in two places, and then use a third finger to stretch the lower lid down to expose the lashes, so you know you're working in the right place. So now we're ready to work, but what pigment is the best to get good quick saturation that stays? This is a really easy answer to give, but it does come with risks. So you really need to know that your needle depth is good and that your client is a good candidate. If we cut the treatment time down drastically, we also reduce trauma to the skin, which in turn gives us easier healing. To do this, we need a high color load pigment that flies into the skin easily. I'm gonna get my balls out, one, because it makes it really easy to understand and also because my obsidian ball was 20 quid and I'm from Yorkshire, so I wanna get my money's worth. The obsidian ball represents a mineral pigment particle and this polystyrene ball represents a carbon pigment particle. Pigment is implanted into the skin through suction and you can see how easy it is to move the carbon and with the mineral particle, I'm not even gonna try it, but you get the point. This one is gonna be so much easier to get into the skin really quickly and that's why high pigment load carbon-based pigments like this one from Skills are my absolute favorite and changed my eyeliner results dramatically. I did this winged eyeliner in only 20 minutes. But this does come with risks. Because this pigment is easy to get into the skin because of its low density, it's also prone to wandering off where it shouldn't be, also known as migration. If you have clients with lots of visible capillaries in the working area, do not use these pigments. They will easily travel up the blood vessels, so stick with mineral pigments or just refuse the treatment. Permanent eyeliner isn't for everyone. Now we're moving on to how we actually work in the skin. This is gonna make life so much more comfortable for your client and much less traumatic for the skin. This is gonna give much better results, but it is gonna take some discipline from you. Once we've worked over the skin, it's rushing to heal itself. It's sending lymph fluid to the area and trying to repair as soon as possible. So working over and over the skin just keeps restarting this process. So the ideal way to implant is on one area and completely saturate that section before moving on to the next section. This will lead to reduced swelling, you'll finish quicker and there'll be more pigment healing in. I use various speeds and needles, but often I use a shader in the lash line and I'll use movements like circles or shoveling to get colour in. But I'm always taking good care if I'm using strong carbon-based pigments. Working on one area and saturating it will relieve so much discomfort for your client. But did you know it's not actually the needle that's the most painful part of eyeliner? Keeping this next part of the treatment under control is a surefire way to reduce swelling and keep that pigment right where we want it. Wiping the skin is absolutely necessary, but it doesn't have to make the skin sore. Try to keep wiping to an absolute minimum and to stop the skin getting raw, cotton pads are softer than gauze. I know it's messy, but your results will thank you. 
Once we've worked and cleaned, there's another step that I found incredibly useful for reducing swelling right down so the pigment stays in the skin. We want to soothe and calm the skin to de-balloon it as soon as possible. I find products such as Skinful Beauty's Pigment Seal really take the swelling down and feel so nice and cool to your client. The bonus will also be that it rinses the lashes clean so you can absolutely see whether the pigment you've been working so hard to implant is actually in the skin or just hanging around on the lashes. I honestly never do an eyeliner treatment without this product. I absolutely love it. Combining these five hacks is going to be a game changer for your liner, but there is still the chance of getting horrible migration if you use the wrong pigment on the wrong type of person. Results like this are completely possible if you don't use the correct needle, speed, pigment and technique on the lash line. To be an amazing permanent makeup artist, it's vital that you understand how to prevent your pigment migrating where you don't want it. So you absolutely need to watch this video next. Let's do it! Child. <laughs>